came to the conclusion that I could trust the New Testament about what Jesus said and what Jesus did. Through the external evidence tests that you apply to any piece of literature, you ask, is there external evidence totally apart from the book under investigation that confirms its inner testimony or accuracy? One, of course, is literary. The other is archaeological. Sir William Ramsey was regarded as one of the world's great archaeologists and topographers. He did uh, maps, topographical maps, of various parts of the world. He lived in England. He was not a believer. He left England to go to Asia Minor to do a topographical study of the first century. He was so popular and so well known that scholars from all over the United Kingdom came down to the docks to see him leave for Asia Minor. When he was there, he exhausted pretty much all of his historical material for creating that topographical uh, map of Asia Minor. He was sharing that with some friends, and one of them, who was an outspoken believer, encouraged him to use the Book of Acts uh, to help him in his study. He immediately rejected, because he was of the German school that the New Testament especially the book of Acts, was a second century document written years after the time of Christ and the New Testament uh, accounts. And so therefore, it could not be trusted or reliable in detail. But he got so frustrated, he finally said, well, I might as well give it a chance. And in the process, I don't know if he became a believer, but he made some astounding statements about the author of the book of Acts, Luke, notice what he said. I may fairly claim to have entered on this investigation without prejudice in favor of the conclusion, which I shall now seek to justify to the reader. On the contrary, I began with a mind unfavorable to it, for the ingenuity and apparent completeness of the Tubingen theory had at one time quite convinced me. It did not then lie in my time of life to investigate the subject minutely. But more recently, I found myself brought into contact with the Book of Acts as an authority for the topography, antiquities, and society of Asian Minor. It was gradually borne upon me that in various details the narrative showed marvelous truth. In fact, begin with a fixed idea that the work was essentially a second century composition and never relying on its evidence as trustworthy for first century conditions, I gradually came to find it useful a very useful ally in some obscure and difficult investigations. And he went on to say, Luke is an historian of the first rank. Not merely are his statements of fact trustworthy, this author should be placed along with the very greatest of historians. And he went on to say, Luke's history is unsurpassed in respect of its trustworthy. Why did he change his opinion? Why did he change his conclusions? In the next few segments, and I look forward to it, I want to lay out some of the things that he discovered through archaeology and all that confirmed that the New Testament had to be a first century document. <laughs> 